to day 19 of Vlogmas. We are sh gonna be in Christmas in a few short days and I am so excited. But that's not what you guys came here for. We are going to be doing a happy holiday hot cocoa pin mystery pin box. I know these are like the, from what I could see, it's probably the most popular holiday pin set this year out of the st stocking stuffers and the It's a Small World. These babies go like hotcakes. I was able to grab a couple of these on Shop Disney, thankfully, because I didn't have to pay for, sh for um, I didn't have to pay the extra pricing if I would have gotten them picked up. So, I am very happy about that. I was like stalking Shop Disney for these pins every day I was looking and finally it paid off when they came back for a third time in stock and I kind of grabbed a lot more than I really should have but let's just say my wallet wasn't happy but I was happy. So we're going to leave it at that. So here's a closer look of the pin box. I love this theme. And then on the back we have all of the possible hot cocos we could get. <laughs> As you guys know I love Donald so I definitely want him but I'll be happy with any of the other pins because I am planning to collect this whole series. Now if I'll finish it before the end of the year, more than likely it won't happen because, you know, I've been getting a lot of doubles lately, so. But hopefully I can find some people who don't have, who have the ones I need and I have the ones they need. So hopefully that happens. This is a 12 pin collection, so it's more than what it usually is. Last year I believe the Nutcracker was a 9 pin or a 6 pin and the ugly sweaters were about 9 or 10. So they're, they're a bit bigger than they usually are. So I have three boxes that we're going to be unboxing today and that should be about six pins so hopefully I don't get too many doubles. I haven't opened these yet at all so I am this box is definitely going to be pins that I definitely will keep. They won't be doubles because I never opened them before. So there we go. So the size seems to be, from the feel of it, seems to be a pretty decent size. So let me see. Can I feel it? No. I, I'm not good with guessing. They're pretty easy to rip too, so that's a good thing. So the first pin we get is, oh, this is so cute. I really like this. I got Dumbo. And Dumbo looks really good in his pin. <laughs> and you can clearly tell it's him because he has the peanuts, he has the black feather that helped him fly, and then his <laughs> iconic ears, but they're not filled in. I guess because they wanted to use the ears as like a little holder for when you um, pick it up and then he has his little um, he has his little clown I don't know what it's called choker or whatever it was around his neck I don't remember what it was called but this looks like something I probably wouldn't eat just because I don't like peanuts I mean eat drink because I don't like peanuts but if they didn't have the peanuts I definitely would grab this and it even has that little hat that he wore when he was a clown <laughs> so here's gonna be a closer look of this and it is so cute I definitely am happy I grabbed this so out of 12 I have one so only 11 more to go right guys so the next one, I love these bags, they're so easy to rip, thankfully, because other Disney pin bags are very hard to 
So the next one we got, oh, this is so cute. I don't think I've ever seen anybody unbox this one. This is the Cheshire Cat uh, Cocoa. And it, I would think it's like a strawberry flavored or a really dark, yeah, or a raspberry. That's probably a better one because it looks like raspberry. It has a nice, oh, so cute. I would definitely drink this as if this was a raspberry hot cocoa. I love raspberry. As you can see, the Cheshire Cat smile right there and the Cheshire Cat's tail is the handle of the hot cocoa. Then you got the two peppermints on the side as well as his ears sticking out. I've become a real big fan of Cheshire Cat because I now have a cat so Cheshire Cat and Figaro are starting to become my are boosting up into being my favorites and I just love this pen so beautiful so we got lucky with our first first box we were able to grab some really cute pins so let's head on to our second box hopefully no doubles one can wish right I really do hope I get the Donald one but I won't be upset I still have a couple more bags that I'll show you guys in another video but let's see what we get so the third pin now why is it the first box has easy bags to open and this one it's like doesn't want to open I don't get it That's why they gave you nails Okay, just from the back of it, it looks like a different pin. I'm trying to surprise myself, so let's see. <gasps> yeah! Okay, it's not a double. Sorry, I went a little crazy. It's not a double, and it's one of my favorite princesses. And even though it looks really weird <laughs> that there's a tail sticking out of this drink, I still love it. <laughs> because it is just a pin. <laughs> so I was able to grab the Little Mermaid Hot Cocoa pin and it is so beautiful. I love the fact that they use the Dingle Hopper as the handle and we have the fish tail sticking out. We have her shelf, her, her bra shell uh, in the middle and it just looks like the optimum of Ariel's Hot Cocoa. And I'm very happy and I love the fact that they added sprinkles because I love sprinkles. So far things are going really well. Oh, look at this one. I can actually see through this bag. Which is probably not good if it's supposed to be a flying bag. Holy moly. 